Okay. Starting tomorrow, we're going to be doing this. We're going to be doing this, uh, laying down the plot of Dragon Ball Z. Now, before I do, there's some stuff I want to get straight with y'all, okay? Not everything that I say is expressly 100% stated, laid out flat in the manga. Which is what I'm going by. Some of it is implied or inferred. Alright? Some of it <clears throat> is, yes, going to be my opinion based on the evidence that's there. However, there's enough evidence there to come up with a decent, coherent idea of what happened. And I'm hoping you see this. Um, and you, here's how you do it. You take what they show you, you take what they know, you apply it to what you know about the character, and there you go. Uh, for example, Frieza. They keep saying Frieza doesn't have any backstory. Frieza does have a lot of backstory in relation to Vegeta and the Saiyans. Now, before that, you can say that, um, you know, he doesn't have any backstory or whatever. Well, he predates it. Um, most of what you see with, like, even Orochimaru's backstory in Naruto, for all you Naruto's who keep forcing me to do all this... Um, is, uh, in relation to the others as well. Uh, so, you know, it's in relation to people who know him. Uh, and yet he was considered to be a good villain. So, yeah. Um, we're gonna be piecing together here some stuff. Most of it, however, almost all of it, is going to be 100% right there for you to see. Now, here's where I want to address some of the Dragon Ball fanboys. And yes, I say fanboys. Guys, for all y'all over there in Dizex and whatnot, I don't care what you got to say about what was originally going to happen, or what was the original plan, or where you think, based on whatever the heck rumor floating around, he was going to originally end it, or this, or that, or yada 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 because I've seen way too many contradictory statements about where he intended to end Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Z um, I've seen way way too many of them now I'm going to say that I can understand him ending it itself because it seems like it can end there Frieza not so much because there are just way too many holes that would have been left wide open and unanswered so unless he was planning on doing yet another series anyway you know it would have been a mess to end there so Either way, though, that's irrelevant. I don't care who was originally conceived for what purpose or what role or what possible gender they were originally going to have and whether or not this was actually going to happen with this character or what, okay? We're dealing with what is. So, for all of you who are going to try to jump on my back about it, shut up beforehand, okay? We're dealing with what is. Not what was possibly going to be. Okay? Uh, that being said, uh, we're going to get started here real soon. Uh, first thing I want to focus on, though, is another thing about character depth. See, so many times I keep hearing people say that there is no character depth whatsoever with these characters. And that there's no nothing. Um... And that, you know, you can easily fit everything you need to fit about certain characters within a one five-minute video. And there you go. Well, in some cases you're right, but in some cases you're not. See, herein lies the problem. Again, you're looking at Dragon Ball Z like it's an individual standalone series. It's a continuation of a previous one. That would be like if I took Shippuden. I took the characters who appeared originally in Naruto... And only looked at them from Shippuden and said they had no backstory. They do, it's just all covered back here. See what I mean? This is the standard you're trying to apply, it don't work. So, that being said, we are going to be taking a look at Dragon Ball Z. I'm going to have to, in some cases, dip back into Dragon Ball for it. But we're going to do it. We're going to take a look at some of the characters as important parts in their storyline come up. I'm not just going to be darting all over covering every single character in every single saga for every single thing or whatever, okay? We're not going to do that. That would take way too long. This is already going to be a long 
series, probably about, oh gee, let's see here, how many sagas are there? One, two, three, four. A lot. Alright, um, some of the smaller ones I might be able to fit two in one video. Especially when it comes to, like, the perfect and imperfect cell. Or imperfect and, per or perfect cell, you know, that, that thing. Um, overall, however, this is going to take a while. So it's something I'm going to have to ask you, you know, bear with me on this, alright? Please. Please. I promise you, I'm not going to disappoint you. Um, if you disagree with me on something, you're, feel free to say so. Um, because like I said, some of this is going to be my opinion. However, if you are going to try to BS me and say something didn't happen when it did happen in the manga, or try to pull a filler thing on me, then, yeah, I'm going to get upset. Because, like, I've seen... And that goes for the Dragon Ball fanboys, too. If you try to tell me that certain characters are stronger than they were, I'm going to get upset. For example, uh, Dragon Ball Z, Boo Saga. Fight between Vegito and your Super Boo there, as you guys like to call him, Majin Boo. In the manga, it's only like two and a half, three chapters long. We are talking one, two episodes long, if it were to be animated. The series puts it out to like 10, 15 episodes. They drug it way out. And they also way overpowered Vegito. To the point where they're making it seem like he's way cocky and overconfident. He was acting that way, but it was a bluff in the manga. And also in the manga, in the anime they have him going, they have him fighting first at a base level. Then going Super Saiyan and just utterly owning him. Um, thing is, in the manga he started off right away. Before even starting to fight by going Super Saiyan 2. You see the lightning aura and everything. So, you know, stuff like this. Keep in mind, this is go this is just for fun. This is for some education, some entertainment. Um, I'm hoping just to end the fights once and for all. Because after this, there's really nothing more that can be said. If you really aren't going to sit there and... You know, if you're seriously going to try to say it doesn't have a plot after this, there's nothing I can do about that. You're just a delusional fanboy in denial. Um, if you're seriously going to um, sit there and criticize me for not going into behind-the-scenes stuff, you're a fanboy and there's nothing I can do about that. And if you, seriously, Naruto fans, if you try playing the nerd card on me for quote-unquote overanalyzing a cartoon... Which many of you have tried to pull before when I try to analyze Naruto. Which is funny because it's exactly what you're doing. Um, just get lost. Seriously. Um, this is getting old. And this is the last time I'm going to be covering this plot. I'm serious. I've done bits of it in the past. Last time I'm covering the plot. Might do the characters again one last time after this. That's it. Um, after that, I really don't know what else I can say. Uh, specifically in regards to you guys. Uh, so, uh, wish me luck. We're going to be getting start on the, started on this tomorrow. Hope to see you there. Later.